Trump's campaign for the White House got a major boost today. He won support from Democratic Senator John Kerry, who was the party's nominee in 2004. Right. Julian Faulkner is chair of an independent school safety community. When we look at some of the recommendations, they may seem shocking to people, particularly people that live outside of the Toronto area, and they see that the recommendations involve random locker checks, canine units uh, where dogs can sniff out firearms as well as drugs. What sort of impact do you think that this will have on students and their learning? If they're walking down the hall and there's dogs walking through the hallways checking out lockers. It's completely, utterly false. The world's most famous mountain climber has died. Sir Edmund Hillary holds the record as the first person to reach the summit of Mount Everest. Nepal, we have to take a short break, but still ahead, a failing grade for Alberta's oil sands. Ottawa has announced aid for some communities suffering economic hardship. Prime Minister Stephen Harper says his government will provide $1 billion to help workers in the forestry, fishing and manufacturing industries. Harper made the announcement today at a New Brunswick lumber yard. It is aimed. Harper says the fund will come from the federal government's budget surplus. Now, there's no denying the close links between the Canadian and American economies. And for concerned Canadians, there's bad news today from south of the border. Center when Canada's first ministers gather in Ottawa for a dinner meeting with Prime Minister Stephen Harper. CTV's David Aiken joins us now from the nation's capital. David, what can we expect tomorrow? Well, pre Welcome back. I'm Marcia McMillan. Returning now to our top story tonight, six Air Canada passengers remain in hospital, some with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. This after the plane they were traveling in was suddenly tossed around mid-flight. Now there are questions about whether proper procedures were followed to ensure passenger safety and whether the incident was caused by equipment failure.